abilities here is listening capabilities, the standard battery, but in addition, they can manage blocked words and change chat modes. Close. I'm just going to close that. We'll do it later. I, how do I know? Like, or do I get messages? Live chat. All messages are. Well, I'm live, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like anything's happening, so I'll just kind of sit here. So it doesn't have like a message. Looks like someone sent me a message so I can see how this works. I've never been live on YouTube. Like this is a whole new experience for me. Oh, what's up? Hey, little wolf, little wolf movement. Hi. Okay, so I'm learning about this. This is new to me. Um, hello, Ulysses. Ulysses, Zavala. Hi. Trying to figure out how this works. So I've never gone live on YouTube before. So trying to figure it out. So I love that you guys are here and talking to me. So hi. I'm good, Jerry. How are you? I didn't realize they would just pop up like that. That's okay. I'm doing good. Thanks for joining me, guys. I wanted to just go live and see everyone and talk a little bit. I'm glad, Jerry. So what's everyone up to tonight? Obviously, I'm here talking to you guys, enjoying a drink, and... You guys have any coaching for me? Since you're uh, obviously you've done this before, I'm hoping I don't mess anything up. So let's see here. I see the comments, and it says I'm live. All right. So let's ask. Some, oh, guess this is the closest I will get to meeting you. <laughs> I mean, you never know. Sometimes, uh, maybe at your local hospital, depending on where you go. Um, I've, I've met people out in public before, like accidentally, like I've been someplace and they're like, hey, you're so-and-so. I'm like, yeah, hi. So you never know. Life's all about chances. Um, but it's nice to meet you here, Jerry. Thanks for joining me. You guys uh, watch the eclipse? the eclipse? I keep saying that, eclipse, like it's a whole, like... Whatever. Oh. The eclipse yesterday. Did you guys watch it? It was actually really cool. I had a really good good viewing area from where I was at. Hi, Vincent. South Carolina. Oh, is that where you're at? South Carolina? I have not been to South Carolina in a while. Uh, North Carolina, Outer Banks, been there. Um, <laughs> passion to Pete. Can't do that here, babe. Just can't do that. Um, you saw it without glasses? Ooh, did you have a headache? Because, okay. So South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, they've got some beautiful areas down there. Um, uh, I'll tell you what, yesterday I had a pounding headache though and I had the glasses. So I don't know if it was from the eclipse or if it was just from just having a day because sometimes we just have days, right? Oh, Vinny, okay, I'll call you Vinny. So anyway, I had a great view. It was in the backyard. It was really, really cool. Had glasses, had an old fashioned, just sat out there on lounge chairs and, and watched it. No headache, it's my fourth time to see it without glasses. How did you differentiate? Because when I just looked at it, it looked like a big ball until I had the glasses on. And not even, like I had dark glasses, but when I put on the eclipse glasses, it really was significant. Oh, you're an hour and a half from Myrtle Beach. Nice. Do you go there often? I am not that close to a beach. A lake? Yes, but not a beach. I wish. That's a goal in life, to be either living on or right there by a beach or a really, really nice lake. Like, live on it. Wake up and drink my coffee and look out at the water. 
So downloaded an app though on the phone and got some really cool pictures, which was neat because I don't know, like that scientific stuff's kind of cool, right? And the next time that something like that happens, it's like 20 years, mostly go to the beach for Mustang week. Ooh, what's Mustang week? Is it like Mustang cars, Mustang horses? What's Mustang? Elaborate, Jerry. Living by a river, oh yeah, that's nice too. Water in general, it's very soothing, calming. That's my happy place. Cars, okay, all right. I never had a Mustang. Um, actually, that was supposed to be my first car, but then it got in an accident on my way to go pick it up. The owner got in an accident and I didn't get to get that car. That was very sad. It was a stick shift. Back in the day, um, so is it like some big event where everyone like brings various years of makes and models of Mustangs and you guys show them off? Like car show? That's pretty cool. That must be your thing, huh? I like cars. I had mine since 2008. Oh, nice. So I like nice cars. I like fast cars. I also like comfy cars, practical cars. So... I have a truck because that pulls the boat. Week-long event. Oh, wow, that's a long time. And then I have my SUV because that's really comfy. Well, hello, Derek. I got your podcast going. Love it. It's Emily. Oh, hey there. Emily and Maurice. Hi, guys. Um, you know what? The podcast is coming along. We are working on it. Um, just got a sign. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to show you, like, what it might look like. This is... I'm super excited, but nobody has seen this yet. So just because you guys are my friends and you're here, check this out. Look at that, Whoop. Look at that little logo. That's so cute. Only neat bunny. So yes, working on it. Um, had to change the lineup for the podcast since one of the uh, guests got COVID. So it kind of put us back. But we're working on it, and I'm super excited to launch it. Look, even have my little um, bottle with my little podcast logo right there. Isn't that cute? This was our barrel pick from Angel's Envy. Super yummy. Oh, Lake Superior. Thanks, Derek. I like it. I'm super excited. Um, my co-host is going to have it with the neon. Yes. Hi, Kevin. So uh, I have a co-host. We're going to call him Magic Mike. He is a mixologist. Uh, he's the manager of the bar and is amazing at creating drinks. So he has like this sexy radio voice. Um, we have a lot of fun bantering back and forth and talking about all kinds of things. So I think it's going to be good. Um, so hopefully uh, getting that sign. Looking at different color, different colors, not colors, colors, um, and how that sign's gonna pop. So I want to make sure that it looks good on video. But super excited to do it. Um, can't wait to hear what stories. Just want to hear all about, you know, industry leaders and what they do in the bourbon community and like how they got into it. As well as hoping to get some musicians, maybe an athlete, people that are of interest. Like, who would you guys like to see on the podcast? I mean, I want them to obviously have a good story. I, If they love bourbon, plus, if not, a tequila or they have a favorite spirit, I will definitely venture out because it's more about the story and about like what they appreciate and what they love and how they got into doing what they're doing, right? I want to know like what your passion is. Like my passion is, well, being a nurse, being on social media, bourbon, uh, boats, Outdoors, that kind of stuff. So, oh, thank you, Jim. You're super sweet. Dang at company, good to see you again. And you were looking gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Jerry. It's good to see you too. Interesting people with interesting past. Yes, Derek, exactly. Like, I want to hear the story behind what led you to do what you're doing. Like, how did you get into this? So, you know, that's what this is going to be about. And, and maybe about, like, who they are as people, right? I'm not looking to open up something and we want a bottle of your, okay. Uh, <laughs> Aw, thanks, Sam. You're super sweet. 
and I can definitely connect you. Hit me up later off later on after the thing. Mm. So Vincent, we haven't officially launched a date yet. We have had a test run and we've used the microphones. The test run was supposed to be like 15 minutes. It went two hours. We got some great audio, like just clips that were funny as hell um, from the Bourbon Club. And then of course, we are currently lining up guests. So looking forward to talking to all these just interesting people, right? Like with these great stories. Um, I don't know. Just something that I think is going to vibe really well with where we're going and like how we want to expand. Like I don't want to just be bourbon, right? I want to hear about like how did you get there? Why do you like it? Or if you're a musician, like what inspires you to write your music? What inspired you to become a content creator? What inspired you to be a business person that made you very reputable in what you do. Like, I want to hear your story because stories are cool. They're like how we become who we are, right? Um, I like your liquor cabinet. Oh, you call it liquor because, but I don't drink them. Oh, well, I do because they taste good and I collect and drink it. Um, just kind of a passion. Never in a million years ever thought I would fall in love with bourbon the way I did, but went to some distillery tours and just found it to be amazing and interesting. And again, the stories like behind some of the distilleries and like prohibition and how they all started were just, gosh, like whoever thought to put a mash bill of grains into a copper still and then get the runoff steam that's crazy. And people were drinking that, right? So I guess it's kind of like anything else. Who discovered antibiotics? Like who would have thought moldy bread would have created penicillin, right? Those are the stories. It's very cool. So that's why I'm doing the podcast. Um, my other socials are just because I enjoy it and it's fun. So I like to shoot these YouTube shorts um, like, I don't know, everything from like the stupid hunting ones to the boating ones to my bourbon ones. Um, I love to take pictures. So you guys know I'm actually a nurse by trade. That's what I've done for 20 plus years. Um, love being a nurse would do it again in a heartbeat. Although I would go back and get more schooling and I'd probably be a nurse practitioner. Just love helping people. Um, so I feel like I'm helping people in different ways. Right? As a nurse, I'm helping people get better, feel better, get healthy. Um, as a creator on here, I'm helping people laugh. I'm helping people find who they are, uh, their true authentic selves, and just have a good time. So that's why I'm here. Uh, nursing is a good profession. Oh, after a year, they're mean, not me. I have never been mean. I am very compassionate. Uh, I think that the ones that get really, I don't know. I think there's a certain uh, type of person that belongs in the nursing profession and don't go into it for the wrong reasons. So even like from a child, when I was itty bitty, I was picking up animals and trying to nurse them and take care of them, broken wings, broken beaks, baby kitties, all the things. Uh, my parents said I would hide animals in my suitcase when I got back from camp and they'd have to go through my luggage and like make sure there was no um, lizards or snakes or anything in my in my stuff. So when um, I got older, I drove to the veterinarian down the road and asked if I could work for him. Uh, I wasn't even 14 and he hired me and I just fell in love with it. So I have two dogs, three cats a guinea pig. I have bird feeders outside, regular bird feeders, hummingbird feeders. I just love animals. So I would say I've never been, yes. Um, hashtag nurses. We are some good people. So are the first responders and everybody else who kept our world running when life was chaotic. And yes, Vinny, your story is awesome. He's a life flight paramedic, so very cool. 
So kudos to like everybody out there who busted their butt, especially during COVID. That was crazy times. I know that it jaded a lot of people, but honestly, I think it made us realize how fragile we can also be and how important first responders and a lot of the people out there that work hard to keep America running are, right? So there's my, my chocolate lab, Harley Quinn. She's just over here causing trouble. Hi, Harles. She's my chunky monkey. She probably needs to be on a diet, but her and I like food, so, you know, it's okay. <laughs> she's my sweet girl. Oh, and she's gonna nibble on my shorts because, yeah. All right, go place, girl. Go place. Uh, I love what I do. Yes. So, um, the nerves are gone. I think so. It's getting better. I think part of the reason I'm going live on all the socials, M, is so that I get a lot of that out of the way, right? So, I love to talk. I can talk about anything half the time. But when I have to think about what I'm talking about, then I get a little nervous. So part of the reason I'm doing this is to one, like get to know everyone that supports me and follows me. And two, get to feel more comfortable just talking randomly, right? Because when I'm on a podcast, I'm going to have to initiate those conversations, right? So tell me about what led you to this and what are your favorite things to read or do or what is your favorite bourbon, like things like that. So I definitely think it helps with the nerves. Um, never had a problem talking in general, so I think I'll be okay, but we'll see. To be continued, dot, dot, dot. Hence why I have a co-host and I have other people who are helping me out because as much as I love to talk, I also want to make it meaningful. I don't want to just be ADHD and on 10 different topics at once, which to be fair, happens a lot. Just ask my husband. So. You see me as a doctor, Vinny? Well, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a nurse. I shouldn't say just a nurse, but I'm a nurse. Not nearly the schooling. Um, mad respect for physicians who can remember all the things they need to remember when they're caring for patients because it's a lot. Here's Milo. Here's my kitty. This is my kitten. Come here, sweetie. Come here. This is Milo. He's my kitten. Well, actually, he's a year old now. Say hi, Milo. Say hi. He's my sweet boy. He's my troublemaker. He steals things all the time. And when I say he steals things, I mean like legit steals stuff and hides it everywhere. So I have lost a retainer. I've lost glasses. I've lost a pill bottle. Um, somewhere in this house, he has a stash of my items that I have not found. And I have looked everywhere. I've looked in the couches. I've looked underneath the beds. I've looked in the stuff that's like sealed behind the couches where the mechanical stuff is. I can't find it anywhere. Favorite drink. Ooh, are we talking alcoholic beverage or are we talking just general drink? So typically water with lemon is my go-to. I drink it all the time because it's good for you. Uh, when I'm on the boat and it's hot out, I like a seltzer -y drink like Crooks and Marker with some coconut 1800 tequila, super good. Uh, but when I'm wanting to get warm and just relax, it's my bourbon all day long. So, And then if I'm just drinking something for caffeine, a Monster or Coke Zero. Um, oh, alcohol. Okay, so bourbon, clearly bourbon. Oh, bye Milo. In the summer though, on the boat, I don't drink as much bourbon. I typically drink more bourbon um, when we're indoors or on distillery tours or something because uh, when you're really hot out in the sun, bourbon, whew, you'll sweat. It's definitely hot. That big Kentucky hug comes in and you get hot all over inside and out. No cat, go. <laughs> yes, the cat left. Milo is my booger. He'll just cause chaos anywhere he can. He's walking behind me. There he is again. See, he's not really gone. He's still here. Hi, the baby. Come here. He is my pill. Come on. There he is. See? And Milo's back. 
<laughs> cat back. Yes, the cat is back. This is Milo. He's my troublemaker. Milo likes to get the kitty crazies at 4 a.m. And you'll hear him down here like a damn Clydesdale. And literally sounds like he's 50 pounds. All on the stairs, everywhere. He runs up the side of the door because I do keep him out of the bedroom at night because he will keep you up all night long. He'll pounce on your face. He'll pounce on your back. He'll purr in your ear. He'll lick your face. So, you make me want a boat, you take charge. Ah, hmm. uh, thanks. I try to be confident and I try to be strong. But every now and then, you know, we all have our weaknesses. But thanks, um, I appreciate that. And I do love my animals. I feel like they're my stress relief. Um, if you're having a bad day, just pet a soft furry creature and you'll feel better. Or watch my social media stuff because I'll make you laugh because I'm silly. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. Anything you want to ask while we're on here? Since I'm, this is the first time I've ever been on YouTube live. Kind of crazy. And now I'm going to be covered in cat hair. Thanks, Milo. Blech. Cat hair everywhere. Um, do you have a tip thing on here? No, I don't know how to do that. I'm just coming on here to say hi and hang out with you guys that support me. Uh, you can follow like my all links and find me on other platforms. So just want to say hi and enjoy time with you guys as my, you know, people that support me, right? Because you follow me and you must think I'm funny or something. We're cute. Hey, Matt. <laughs> so let's see, what else can we talk about? How many of you guys uh, took Yukon? That was quite impressive. The fact that Purdue was in it was impressive to me. It's okay, I have a, uh, Thanks, Emma, I appreciate that. Go give Marisa a big punch for me. So here's a question for you guys. The shorts that I'm doing here on YouTube, do you guys like those? I think they're funny. Like, what else do you wanna see? Like, any ideas? Like, I'm gonna try some fly fishing. That's gonna be entertaining, I'm sure, because you know, it's like a whole but I figure I'm athletic, I played sports, I can fly fish, right? Let's hope so. We'll see. Um, I like the idea of like being out in the sun. The waiters might give me some funky tan lines, but I'll deal with it, we'll figure it out. Yeah, with the knee pads, right? Why do women's hunting pants have to have knee pads? I just don't get that. It's not, it's not for that, it's not. In fact, so many guys are like, oh, it's so you could field dress it the deer and okay or you can you can get down your knees to shoot the gun okay but I'm confused because do theirs have knee pads how come our knees need protection when we get on to gut a deer I don't know just saying <laughs> more yoga oh yoga is important I I'm all about the back stretches because my back you hear my cranky old man growling at the other kitten he's like wow 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 it's so mean. He's only six too. Um, yoga is important. Stretching is important, especially when you have a bad back because everything tightens around it and it's just, oof, it's not good. So, okay, yoga. I can, I can do that. Just like run some YouTube yoga lessons or something. What else? What else do you want to see? Give me some more ideas, guys. I like it. Keep coming at me. I thought the knee pad was for figure skating. <laughs> yeah, when you fall down and go boom, huh? Um, how did I mess up my back? Good question. So I played college volleyball and I was a hitter. So I did a lot of jumping and blocking um, and I ruptured a disc in my back my senior year of high school. 
and kept playing on it because I didn't want to give up or quit. And I also played softball and basketball, so I just kept playing and going to a chiropractor. And then as I was conditioning for college, we had a practice and I ended up um, like, yeah, just killing it. It was bad. I was in pain, lost control of certain functions, ended up in the hospital overnight and had to have a back fusion. So uh, comedy in stores. Oh, what kind of comedy in stores? That would be interesting. That would be fun too. Definitely could do blonde jokes or dad jokes, but I don't want to make fun of my natural blonde hair with highlights because that makes me sad. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't fun. So I've got four cages, two plates, and six bolts in my back, and then I have a spinal stimulator too. So with the remote control, I'm like bionic. And I have a battery in my butt that I have to charge like a cell phone. So yeah, but Vinny, thanks, you're sweet. So yeah, protect your back, it's important guys. <laughs> and I will work on the skits. I'm thinking the fishing ones, I'm thinking some more hunting ones, I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm gonna keep thinking. If you have any ideas, throw them out at me though because I definitely enjoy it. I hope I like fly fishing. I've never tried it. I've bass fished, walleye, perch, trout, but never fly, so we'll see. It definitely looks like there's a skill to it with a constant, you know, I don't know. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. All right. Any other questions while I'm here? If not, I'm going to peace out. Oh, yeah, I bet he was mad. Hey, though, but kudos to Alabama because they went far in basketball. Who would have expected that, right? You know, they've always been a powerhouse in football. But um, basketball, that's pretty impressive. So I give them, I, I, I give you props. And I, I get it. So just tell M we still love him. It's okay. Uh, women's sports are definitely on the rise. I, I feel like, you know, with now they ha are even having a professional volleyball, which is cool. And it's not just sand volleyball, right? So I really think that um, more people appreciate it than they used to. And I think women are definitely um, showing a strong, they're making a strong showing in those sports. So Hopefully it's something that catches on. If not, it at least keeps us in shape, right? And you can play it for fun regardless. I think like anything, it's a passion. You're, you're seeing more and more women break into industries where there are mostly male dominated, like bourbon. Look, look at me, here I am, living the dream, loving bourbon, talking about it. And typically a lot of men drink it. And I even sometimes smoke a cigar, imagine that. So yeah, power, girl power. Um, your, your wrist stretches and your wrist hurts. Man, I'm sorry, your wrist hurts. Vinny had wrist surgery. Uh, he was a flight paramedic and hurt his wrist and he had wrist surgery. Um, I'm gonna offer up using the other wrist. That might help calm things down on the other side. About all I can say. Alternate might feel like something's different. This one's D, this one's B. I don't know. Uh, definitely have to see you smoke a cigar. Oh, I got you. Don't worry. Stay tuned. I can do that. I already have. Just didn't take a picture or video, but I will. All right, guys. I'm going to... Sign off for the night. I got to work in the morning. I got to shoot some other stuff. Um, uh, thank you, Country Gambino. I appreciate it. I will try to go live on here at least once a week, guys. I'm, I'm trying to engage more and talk with you guys and get to know you. Um, I appreciate you being here. It's so much fun for me, knowing I have your support and 
Ask me any questions you want when I'm on here. I'll try to answer within my scope of being on YouTube or whichever social media platform I'm on. And follow me on all the socials and go to my all links for anything else you want to see. All right, guys. See you later. And I got to figure out how to end this live because I've never been live on YouTube. So hold on. Bye.